everybody and welcome back to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed day hopefully everybody has a blessed weekend coming up and a blessed friday hopefully everybody's safe and staying healthy and staying away from the coronavirus and uh, if you do get it hopefully you're strong enough and your immune system is strong enough and you can beat it i'm definitely praying for everybody but today we're going to be talking about some of my top leather fragrances in my collection if you've been following my channel you know i went from designer to niche and i got into a real um heavy leather mode while i was picking up a lot of leather fragrances and i think that's what introduced me to the animalic side of niche perfumery and that's when i fell in love with animalics and ooze but leathers i really love and some of the fragrances i'm going to talk about today have some kind of animalic nuances to them the first one we're going to talk about is queer ottoman the notes on this one are iris leather uh, it's got some floral notes. It's got benzoin and I think it's got some incense in it to, to be honest It's been a while since I actually sprayed this one. So when I was getting ready to do this list I just sprayed it on right quick and man, it is still still amazing It seems like it's getting better and better since it's just sitting on the shelf This one starts off kind of powdery at the top, but you're always getting that really beautiful leather It's also got some incense and some floral notes which blend in really well and you get a little bit of sweetness in the dry down. You can get a bottle of that for I think $115, which is a complete steal for that fragrance. And I think it's Parfum the Empire. They've got a lot of really good fragrances. I think they've got a really good amber, so definitely, definitely check them out. If you haven't got into Parfum the Empire, I need to get into the house more. Definitely check them out. Another one we're gonna talk about is a house um, that not a lot of people talk about. And I've got a couple fragrances from this line and it is Oriza L. Legrand. And this one is called Gentry Jockey. Let's see. This is one of the best, Gentry Jockey is one of the best leather rose. It's also got some vetiver in it, but man, it's so potent. It almost smells like a horse stable like a horse jockey stable you know the saddle that you put on the horse that's almost what's what that leather smells like but then you got some floral aspects and the vetiver in that uh, tobacco and rose all blend really really well together next up we're not gonna go in any order next up we're gonna talk about two fragrances that I think lean a little bit on the animalic side the first one we're gonna talk about is from the house of Rania J and this one is Queer Andalou. And this one is a fire, fire, fire animalic leather. The notes on this one are leather, saffron, violet, castorium, and oud. Now think about all those notes that I just said to you. And think about how that's going to smell. This is a straight up animalic leather oud. I would have put this, I'm going to do an animalic list. I would have put this in there, but to me, leather leads the way in this fragrance. The performance on this is insane. It's gonna last on your skin forever. This, the violet in this and the castorium with the oud and the leather are just insane with the saffron. This is definitely one you need to get. Definitely put this, add this to your collection. I think a couple people picked that up off my review. I smelled that when I was in Javoy in Paris and I had to get it instantly. The next we're gonna talk about is one that uh, my, my boy Robes 08 put me up on. Me and him kind of got the similar taste. And this was from the house of Mona Diorio. Hopefully I said that right. And this one is queer. You see that bottle? Man, this is crazy. The notes on this one are leather, castorium, cardamom, a pumpernax, juniper, and anise. Just like queer Andalou, you see it's not a crazy, crazy, crazy note tree. Or no pyramid let me spray this on right quick this one is oh wow that juniper is humongous in the top you get the cardamom the leather and castorium is just like big man this is like my kind of stuff right here this is definitely not mass appealing this is not something that you're gonna wear to get compliments like I said, I never wear my fragrances to get compliments if you watch my channel. But this is just perfection. Oh man, you got spices, you got leather, you got animalic notes, you got Floyd. Just ah. This one is another one I'm telling y'all. If y'all don't have this in your collection, go get this in your collection. If you like animalic leather fragrances, 
go pick that go pick that one up we're gonna get now we're gonna kind of get to the more or the last two are gonna be kind of more classy next one i'm gonna talk about i think is one of the best leathers that i have smelled hands down it's not expensive it's expensive as um like a pure distance and things of that nature or Clyde Christian C or Cure de Rue C EDT or anything like that. This is from the house of Guerlain and this is Queer Intense. And this is not a really complicated fragrance either. The notes on this one are leather, tobacco, sandalwood, osmanthus, and Virginia cedar. This is definitely a really aged leather accord. It's got some beautiful floral notes from that osmanthus. The tobacco in this is really a star too. This one shines. This one definitely shines. And this bottle is 125 mil. I'm not sure what the price on this one is, but for 125 mil, you're paying way less than you pay for a lot of um, 100 mils in the, or 50 mils to be honest either. As far as the leather, this is top of the line. Guerlain is, Guerlain is killing shit, man. Definitely check this one out too queer intense i think my brother center moments just did a review on that one i think i think i reviewed it too but it's definitely an aged beautiful leather with tobacco it's got some osmanthus bring out the floral notes it is definitely nice the last two we're going to talk about are more classy fragrances one that i picked up that i had never smelled but i saw it for sale and i've always seen reviews on it i think my brother Pulit pulitzer points i think Maybe I said his name wrong, but he did a review on it and I always wanted to get this one. This one features notes of leather, oud, tonka, saffron, amber cords, tobacco, olibanum, and labdanum. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. Uh, let me tell you what the fragrance is. It's Clive Christian C. I have a sample, shout out to a subscriber, Tyler, who sent me a sample of Tuscan leather, the original formulation. I like Tuscan leather. This one is a little bit more classy to me. It's definitely blended better to me. That's just to me. Not sure about, you know, what you think about it. The original formulation of Tuscan leather, but I prefer this and I've sampled them side by side. The Amber Accords with the Olibanum and Labdanum and the Styrax in this make this sort of three dimensional like with the oud, like a burning oud sensation. It is insane in this fragrance. This has a very woody presence to it. The leather is prominent in this, but it has some sweetness too. This is just crazy. This is one that I don't spray a lot, to be honest. I do not spray this a lot. This is definitely special occasion juice for my collection. Um, some people with bigger money than me, they can probably spray it every day if they wanted to. The last one we're gonna talk about is one that I had to pick up. Um, I was definitely more uh, really excited about getting this one. And this one is Queer de Russi. Cure de Russi. But this is the EDT. Man, this is like soapy, it's leathery, it's got floral notes. This is a this is what I would call a masterpiece of a fragrance. This is when perfumery was um I just sprayed some on. That's soapy. Oh man, the floral notes in this are crazy. Blended with that leather. I think you may have some tobacco. You may have some vetiver or patchouli. Wow, that's so, so, so impressive. This is one that, this is another one that I do not spray a lot because this one was so hard to come by the EDT of Queer de Russi from Chanel was so hard to come by for me. And I found the bottle. I don't think I paid anything super ridiculous. I think I did pay a ridiculous price, but that's one that I, I watched my brother Eugene talk about the EDT, him and Christo. And I was like, I'm not gonna get the EDP. I'm grabbing the EDT. And I went ahead and got it. This one is just class in the bottle. If you don't have this in your collection, not the EDP, the EDT. Get the EDT added to your collection. You may pay a little bit more for it, but this is one I will always keep in my collection. It perform, performs really well on my skin. I have heard that the floral aspect in this one is a lot more than in the EDP. So, And I think the floral aspect in this gives it another dimension to go with the leather and the powdery and the soapy. 
Wow, it's just crazy. But that's just a quick list of my favorite leather fragrances in my collection. I know it was kind of quick. I was gonna try to do a designer, like my five favorite designer list in my collection. I'm still working on it. I have to find five designers that I really, really like. So that list should be coming soon. Again, if you woke up today, you're definitely, definitely winning in these times because a lot of people dying. Times are crazy. Hope everybody stays blessed. We, I think we like 130 or 230 away from 2000. I definitely want to get to 2000. So if you can share the video, like the video, it helps the channel out a lot. Hope everybody stays blessed. I love you guys and I'm out. Peace.